Hi there, it's Mark from Tough Tread, and I wanted to just go ahead and go over a quick service thing for you. It's if you need to do a grade recalibration. Your machine may be stuck up in the air. Uh, it may be generating out of the incline window. It may be saying E2. That's error number two. Uh, error number two is that it needs to be recalibrated. Something may have happened. You may have gotten a surge or a spike or something along that line, and that surge or a spike um, affected the um, you know affected the grade. So whether your machine's stuck up in the air or it's down flat, don't worry about it this is what you want to do first. Go ahead and you'll take, if, if I'm showing this on a standard treadmill, um, so this is our med, standard medical treadmill, and uh, you may have a, um, you know, a 4600 or a cardio fit. You also may have a high speed, which has a very much smaller display and it's mounted on the side of the machine, so a trainer standing on the side can access it. But the number of buttons, the eight push button configuration, the names of them are all the same. So it may look a little different, but it's, it's done exactly the same. Uh, this one will recalibrate to 15% grade. If you've got a high speed, it'll calibrate somewhere between 25 and 40% grade, depending on the model you have. But the pr process and the buttons you push are all the same. So what you do is you want to get back to a neutral reset position. So like I said, even if your machine's in the air or flat, go ahead and pull the little magnetic uh, kill switch off and uh, set it back down. The machine will light up like this for about two, three seconds and then go out. Uh, if you have a high speed, uh, you don't have this because it's the kill switches off to the side. And what you have is the key lock. So you have a little key in the side, turn that key off, turn it back on. The display will light up like that for a few seconds and then go right back out. So that's, that, so that's where you're at now. What you do is hold these three buttons down, program, speed up or faster, and, in, and incline up. So you hold those buttons down right there and until it says grade cow in the window. The first one will be speed cow on most models, but what you're looking for is hold these three down. Right now you see speed cow and now grade cow, let your fingers off. You want to do a manual calibration. This display will talk about an automatic and a manual. What you want to do is a manual. Automatic can only be done at the, at the factory and that's done on a new machine. So you want to do a manual, which is push now the power button. When you push the power button, the machine will start to go up. You're going to see a number up here in one of the windows. In high speeds, it's actually a 2000 and it starts climbing up and it's in the time window. In typically in the cows, mets, watts, or sometimes down in the speed, you'll see these digits where it's a uh, 2.14 and it's climbing up. None of that really matters. What you're doing is just letting it go all the way up. If your machine was part way up to begin with, it's going to finish going all the way up. It's going to stop at the top. If you wait long enough, typically about five to 10 seconds, it might start going back down depending on the model of software you have. But to cover all of them, if you just press the enter button when it goes all the way up, it's going to start coming down. So remember, we started with the power and now we hit the enter. Now it's going to start coming all the way down. And this number, the little number should be climbing up and down. If you got a high speed, it'll be a 2000 and it'll be climbing back, should have started out somewhere around 2000 and it'll be making its way back down. The number really isn't that important, just the fact that it is changing, tells you the sensors are working correctly that know it and the machine's reading it. Haven't had to do anything else. When it gets all the way down and stops, you can press the enter button again. It will tell you if the, everything has worked okay, we'll have a pass in there. And so it's telling you it's a manual grade calibration and it passed. So everything, the numbers looked right and the computer did it on its own. You press enter again, you heard that long beep. That long beep will tell you that it took it and stored it into memory. It did the quick reset that we saw at the very beginning. Remember that we pulled the switch to take it off. When it does that reset and it goes black, everything should be back down to level and your incline should be working right. And that's a recalibration on pretty much any of the Tough Tread models. And uh, I said, layout may be different, but the push buttons just follow that sequence is the same and do a manual recalibration. And that was the one with the power button. That's the unit. Thanks.